Greetings, it's Cal again with another video on VFR stuff. This one is about how to pull fuel injection error codes or FI codes or if you want to call it MIL codes, malfunction indicator lamp codes that is, from a 6th generation VFR. The procedure is probably very similar for most Honda PGM FI systems. Anyway, there's a trick to this. Essentially, there is two ways of getting your codes. If your bike has a problem right now, and the engine's running, and the side stand is down, then if there's a problem the engine, with the engine running uh, and the side stand down, the fuel injection error light will flash, and it will flash you the code you're looking for. So that's an active current error code you're pulling. If your engine starts, and you have an issue, that's all you've got to do. Start the engine with the uh, side stand down and it'll flash you the code. I'll tell you how to read the codes in a minute. So, what if your bike won't start, <clears throat> or you just want to pull the memory of error codes, or erase the codes that are in the memory? The reason it's important to erase the error codes is, let's say you had a problem and you fixed it, and then you didn't erase the codes, and then something else went wrong with the bike later on, and you pull the error codes and you get 10 different errors, right? And only two of those are for the current problem. You wouldn't want that. So every time you fix a problem, you wanna make sure you clear the error codes out. I am able to demonstrate this for you today because last night I synchronized my throttle bodies, and as part of that, I synchronized my starter valve, sorry, and as part of that, I disconnected my map sensor. So there is a map sensor disconnected error in my ECU memory right now. Okay, so uh, I'll skip on to reading the FI codes in a minute, but I'll start by telling you how to actually get the codes out of memory. Now, uh, the, doc the manual for the VFR tells you to remove the fairing. You don't need to do that. All you've got to do is remove this, which is your inner fairing panel from in here. I'll get you some light. If you look in there, you should see your ECU and you'll see a little black connector right there. It's only a two pin connector on this model VFR. And what you need to do is you need to get a small piece of wire and jumper that. So you need to get a small piece of wire like yay and stick it in that connector to jumper it. If you have a slightly later model VFR, 2006 and later, Oh gosh, you can't do that at all, can you? Your plug will look a lot more like this. This is a four pin, uh, what's called a DLC or data link connector. A four pin connector. These ones uh, basically have a lot more capability. You can jumper them in the same way. I'm pretty sure it's brown and green that you jumper, these two, uh, to get the codes out. But also the other two pins can be used to uh, actively read engine state like coolant temperature and engine RPM. You can use um, gear position indicators and things like that um, from companies like Heeltech. But essentially the technique is the same regardless of model. You want to jumper the brown and green wires. Once you do that um, with the appropriate um, key in the right position and whatnot, you can read the code. So we'll go and do that now. Okay, I've got my service check uh, connector or DLC connector jumpered. Now the bike is in neutral, I'm on the centre stand, side stands down. Um, I will turn the ignition to on without starting it, making sure the engine stop switch is in the run position. <coughs> Honda's parlance or wording is that a uh, codes are flashed as a sequence, uh, sent to you as a sequence of flashes. Uh, a short flash is counted as numerical one, and a long flash is considered to be 10. So if it was long flash, followed by a short flash, that would be 11. If it was long flash, followed by two short flashes, it would be 12. So let's have a look. That's the normal light on off. And then we go, one, that's the first code. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, big pause, it's gonna repeat now. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are two codes in the memory of my ECU. A one code and a nine code. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, what do those codes mean? Um, I have the Haynes manual here, but the Honda manual is just as good. So 
Code 1, engine runs normally. Faulty map sensor or wiring, that makes sense because I had my map sensor disconnected when I was synchronizing my starter valves. And 9, engine runs normally. Faulty intake air temperature sensor or wiring. That also makes sense because I had the intake air temperature sensor disconnected when I was synchronizing the starter valves because that's plugged into the air box, which you have to remove. Great, fantastic. So now I know that uh, there's nothing stored in the ECU regarding any issues I don't know about, and I know they're not really issues anyway. Uh, I can now clear out the codes. So let's go and do that now. All right. We're gonna try and erase the stored fuel injection error codes from the ECU now. The way to do this is you start with the engine off and you have that DLC connector wire jumpered which you can probably just see in the darkness down there. Down there, you see the red wire, it's jumpered. What we have to do is leave it connected, turn the ignition on and then quickly disconnect it and reconnect it while the ignition is on. And I want you to watch the behavior of the FI error light up here um, when I do that. Okay, this will be a bit tricky on camera without knocking the camera off the bike. So I've got to quickly disconnect it and reconnect it while the ignition is on. Off. Oh, stuffed it. No, that didn't work because my cable fell out of both holes. You've got to make sure you, your little wire here doesn't fall out from the other one when you try and plug it in. So I've got it jump it again. On, off, in. That may have worked, let's try that. Let's jumper it, leave it jumpered, turn it on. All right, no codes, excellent. Let's just make sure it is jumpered though. Okay, light goes out, no codes. Right, the last thing to confirm uh, when we're pulling our FI error codes and clarifying if we have any codes is to know what the behaviour is when there are no stored error codes. Let's say your bike is acting up, you're curious if you've got a stored error uh, and you don't get anything and you're wondering if that means there is an error or there isn't. Well, so I've got the bike, jump it again. With it jumpered, let's turn the key on. FI light stays on and just stays on. Does not flash any codes. This is a sign that there are no stored error codes in the ECU.